Look at it. I'm a workaholic. Yeah, like, because coding's easy. It's, it's a... Easy? Yeah, you know, uh, well, you know what I mean? He's a journalist. There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, like, there's, there's a structure. There's a rule. There's a set of rules to it. You follow those rules and it's fine. <laughs> oh, it's easy. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Let's start. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Welcome to News Game Plus. I'm, uh, I'm Bimmy and I'm your New Game Plus executive producer and future coder yes <laughs> it's easy oh, right. it's easy it's, it's easy yeah. apparently well i uh, tell you what how are you feeling living in real life tom clancy's the yeah division? i know right <laughs> i went to coles today and i legit need toilet paper i mean do you, you know, want to borrow some well, it's gonna sound like dead shit well, hey, well <laughs> that practice. is the problem yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah no, no, I, it is bizarre you walk in and whole rows of shelves i don't know if it's like where you live but really oh it's shelves. pretty bad at, at forest hill it's not too bad though like as long as you're not looking for like specific things, as long as you're willing to compromise, like pasta. <laughs> well, we see we were we were full of pasta, full of pasta sauce, full of we had a bit of meat, we had a bit of random stuff. You know what I mean? So we're not too bad, but like yeah, a lot of the others are just like um, are like just oof, they're gone. It's ridiculous. No, I, I've never seen it. you. Walk, you walk into the shop and there's there's no. There's no stuff. It's it's bizarre. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Uh. Yeah. Look. It's. Uh, um. Uh, being level thirty in in division one and division two, I reckon I'm ready. <laughs> to, okay. Looting. Well, I, like <laughs> it's, it's funny. I, I, yeah. I'm literally. Uh, I don't know if I should admit this on thing being a lefty, but uh, no, I won't actually. I'll save it. I'm gonna get in trouble. Well, if you're um, if you're to the right politically, you'd be making uh, communism jokes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, this is well, a, I mean, look. Like I'll, I'll, I'll say that. Yeah. It's like, oh, look at Venezuela with their empty shelves. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Well, that, that's fucking clown world like <laughs> yeah we say clown world so yes uh anyway uh this video up here is distracting me let me just uh shrink that a little bit cool um all right cool well anyway let's get on to some game news uh we'll talk maybe talk about that a little bit more later because there are uh even though the social media networks have been just trying to scroll across trying yeah. to desperately get rid of uh any news about coronavirus and trying to silence it uh, the fact is, it's a big deal now. Yeah, it is. And yeah. uh, they've been pretending for a while that it wasn't, and they've been trying to keep it quiet. And I re remember when I commented on it back in January on Twitter, and I got savagely attacked by some people. Yeah. Um, well, now look at it. Yeah. One, like, yeah. Zero to 100 very quickly. Because people are dumb. Like, it's it, the world is an ending, um, and our, the, the only thing that's going to cause pure, pure real, long term <laughs> devastation and destruction is our response to it and our response has been lacking and that is what's going to fuck us like we've worried more oh we're, we're if you're a 50 a 50 million dollar company you can claim one hundred fifty thousand dollars right now to make sure that people are getting paid yeah if you're you a 50 wish. million dollar company yeah. but if you're a sole trader or a like a small business or a freelancer or a contractor you can get fucked well i'm a proprietary limited company yeah and, uh, mind you look uh, it is good because like uh, as i said at the start i've been really busy because yeah. everybody's suddenly really interested in <laughs> no, website. Website. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. all right let's, uh, let's see some gaming news uh now let's see uh well xbox series x now i'm not going to go through the uh hardware specs because a little bit about sony stuff coming up soon about their specs yeah my sony thing is and as we record this i think like it's been very hours. soon and yeah. if you're listening to it it's probably already been on um but see uh now one of the things they they, they did say i liked was they said hdr which is uh uh extra colors uh brightness contrast stuff like that basically makes it high dynamic camera. range that's it i was trying to remember it uh and oh, i'm <laughs> glasses so i'm struggling with my notes i wrote um basically it, it adds that to backward compatible yes um now the reason i bring that up is because microsoft have done really well with the backward compatibility so far it's, it's actually i reckon it's gold standard uh, how they've done it the way they engineered that is just top tier like and now that i mean it is sort of on pc people expect yes. if you're emulating an old console you get yeah you, well i mean look you look at dolphin graphics. you know what i mean dolphin alone is for your like, nintendo 64 for your, stuff well it? yeah for no gamecube gamecube yeah so that, gamecube yeah. it has like full aspect ratio 1080p because all they do is use the existing renders and pop map but because nintendo's art styles work for that they can just blow it out to at least really 720 good, yeah. without fucking up so yeah well it look it's uh, and it's normally something that the the community does <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. <laughs> it's always something the community does um, but uh, it, it is something, and not normally something that companies do. Yes. Companies normally, when they do backward compatibility, it's, it's look, let's be honest, half assed. Yes. Um, but Microsoft now are starting to be like like a, an actual community when they do it, and mm. it sounds weird, but but they're doing it. like they're they're adding um, they're adding extras to old games 
when they're yeah. when they're being well emulated on well, their again, console. Again, like so, State of Decay, they have supported that game for two straight years, and they've added interesting and unique things. I'll get some for you to say. I've heard <laughs> That's it at the end. Right. Um, uh, yeah, um, they've added interesting, unique features. They've continued to support it, and it's gone across three generations technically. You know what I mean? Like that's cool. Like that's real cool. Well, I mean, you know, one of the one of the things people say that really annoys me is this console generation stuff because it was always kind of garbage, but uh, it's definitely is garbage now. Um, but uh, yeah, so look, uh, point is, I really like how Microsoft with their backward compatibility, which is already really, really good, are now just adding stuff to old games to make it better. And, and that's the sort of thing that companies traditionally haven't done. But I would say Sega have. tried that more than anybody. As far as like, if anyone ever really tried to expand their, we're doing units. back in the thirty-two H days. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like we are, but we are yeah. like one hundred percent. Like they were again. A lot of what Microsoft is doing now, I would swear, is they've just Microsoft has taken their handbook and gone. You know what was a good company? Sega. They they were a good company, and then they just do that. Okay, you are aware of the rumor, but that, Peter Moore, I'm aware that that originally the Microsoft and Sega were going to join. Yeah. And then at the last minute, they screwed Sega. Yes, Peter Moore. That's the joke. It's, yeah, it's yeah. a joke. Well, it is a joke. Yeah. Um, but that, that is the that is the the long term meme about Peter Moore. Okay, cool. Well, there you go. Peter Moore. He didn't he go to EA. He went from yep. He was, but he, no, no, he was Sega yeah. at Dreamcast, Microsoft, yeah, EA. Okay, cool. Well, it got worse as he went along. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, good work by Microsoft. Keep it up. Um, all right. Uh, so the only the, oh, Marvin's yeah. got a question: Will either console be eight K? To to my understanding, with the thing they've released, they're guaranteed four K. I think no, they're not. They're guaranteed one twenty hertz because they're prioritizing that over thing. But I know some games will play four K. Eight K? No, not yet. There's no word on when they're yeah, so. uh, Now, Marvin, yeah, Marvin asks, won't talk about. Cod Call of Duty. Yes, we did last week. Uh, and now, now Call of Duty. I'll, I'll recap that as that uh, new Warzone. battle royale game. Uh, now I've downloaded. it, Haven't played it yet. Um, I got to a point where I needed to set up an account. I couldn't be bothered. We, <laughs> so you can cross play it fully. You, you can, can like literally it, yeah. any console. You can cross play on PC. Now you can you, you can cross play with PC. So basically, that means you can die. Yes. <laughs> so, good so luck. Yeah, two, two of the guys players. at the moment, like my one of my housemates and one of the other guys, is playing with one of their mates who's on console. And yes, it's very much a case of you are carrying the person on console. You give them a shotgun, you <laughs> hope for the best. Um, well, yeah. I, said, I said they tried that originally with Gears of War 4. They played uh, console gamers against PC gamers. Console gamers didn't get a kill. Yeah, because <laughs> how could they? Like, yeah. I've always said, yeah. like, if I, if I was going to take up first person shooters properly, you know those little, the little, um, the little keypad uh, keyboards with, like, just enough of, like, eight keys in front of your fingers and then, like, a little stick on the side? It's like a razor one. Mm -hmm. What I get, because the mouse you can't be beaten for aiming, but I still prefer moving with my thumb. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like I hate moving with keys. I just it doesn't work for my hand. I don't know. Maybe yeah, that's just me. Well, there you go, there you go, Marvin. Call of Duty. Yeah, I haven't played it. Uh, you have. It's free to play. It's free no, play, I haven't yeah. played it. Uh, it's got some cool concepts. Like one of the cool things it does. The trailer you know, looks good. Well, you know how battle royales go, right? Like you know, you've dropped down from space. You, well, you've I got, saw you've that. Kids, you've seen Fortnite. Well, no, actually, you know, my kids are my kids are good. Uh, yeah. They don't play Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, right. So, um, well, anyway, so you drop out of space. <laughs> They're good fight, children. You, you fight. You fight X amount of people. Um, you then move on to this. Like the the, the the area gets smaller until you get to one, and then whoever wins wins, right? In Call of Duty, if you die, you get sent to this gulag and you 1v1 someone to get out of the gulag. And so you can pick up rocks and throw rocks at each other and like beat them to death. Oh, cool. And if you win, you get re resurrected. So that's like a cool little, like, like yeah, it, it encourages you to actually like stay in a game where if you've got friends or like doing things, it actually works on an esports level. Do you know what I mean? Like you might be the tank because you're good at the 1v1s. So he'll take the yeah. bullets. So then you know you're going to die, but then your, your friends will get the kills, but then you can resurrect and they can come get you and give you your gear back. Ah, well, I like that because I like yeah. if I play a game like that, I like being a tank. Yeah, Cause, so cause yeah, I'm so slow, I'm old. There's lots slow, of there's so. lots of cool little things that matter. It's, <laughs> it's unlimited yeah. parachutes. As people are dropping out of the sky, they can get rid of their parachute, start shooting people, yeah. pull their parachute back out. So like it's unlimited shoots. So you can just keep doing that. So there's like cool little things that it's done. To be fair, I'm like they've done a good job of making it. And some of the rules are pretty good. It's just a little bit a few things that people can exploit, but it's actually reasonably good. So. Well, it'll be a better game than uh, Fortnite. Yeah. I can guarantee that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Fortnite's garbage. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, play, I played it. When it first came out, I played a lot. I, I wanted to see, because people were talking about it. I wanted to see what it was like. 
I, I got, I think I got up to fifth or something, as, That's which not is bad not for an old bad. Man, yeah. yeah. Um, basically, I, I was, basically I was in a game where everyone was just jumping around like Mexican jumping beans. <laughs> People jumping everywhere, and I hate that because I can't aim at it. Yeah. And and it, and I played a few <laughs> games, and it did seem um, how well you went was basically mostly relying on how much you avoided people. Yes. like coronavirus. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's self Social isolation. Social isolation, that's why I'm sitting over here. <laughs> and then wait for One meter in between. Was, you guarantee you get in the top 40 or 30 yeah. just by running off and hiding. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, well, everyone else kills each other. So, it looked to me, it just seemed like a nonsensical game, but everyone loves it. So, there you go. Well, yeah. everyone, everyone, a certain age group loves yeah. it. <laughs> so, certain demographic. <laughs> certain demographic. Um, and, and, and so, uh, anyway, next one I had was oh, Lego Mario. Yes. Now, Lego Mario is not a not a not a well. It's not a game. No, it's actually. How do you describe set. it? It's a Lego set, but you make like a Mario level. So you make it in a row. So you don't make it like a Lego. You know the Minecraft yeah. Lego. You make a Minecraft house and it all opens up, and that that's pretty cool. We got that at home. Um, you make like a long uh, Mario level, and then you play as this little Mario thing. It looks like a super sized Lego yeah. pig. You probably know more about this and uh, a Lego. Sorry, uh, piece. And uh, basically, yeah, you, you you play it kind of like a board game. From yeah. what I can tell, you know any more? Oh, I've only seen that? the videos, like the occasional video of it and stuff. So I I don't, um, I don't, I don't really care because I'm not the demographic to care. But like, yeah. well, it, yeah, look, I credit to Nintendo because they do this good. Nintendo's not afraid to try stuff. So probably yeah. helps. They got so much money. They got more money than God. Cause, it's funny because the, the, I was the, about to say exactly that. The the, the <laughs> joke at the moment is that Apple's got enough money to purchase Disney. Now I would actually love that. I think that would be like. To me, very funny because I fucking hate Disney so much that I would be rather Apple be in charge of Disney. That's how much I hate Disney, right? Because to me, that's the Pixar boys coming back around and getting their, their revenge. Oh, gee, next I hope they purchase Electronic Arts after that. Yeah, oh, so look, for my money, I mean, they should all be broken up. Disney, the awesome there's no way Disney effect, should have been allowed to do it because, like, <laughs> It's like, yeah. oh, but they're only entertainment, but yeah, except that they control the news media and they control ESPN and they control NBC. Yeah, well, only yeah. six companies control all our media, yeah. which is pretty obvious at times. But anyway, yeah. yeah. But yeah, so uh, from my point of view, Nintendo could do whatever the hell they want. I mean, the, it, it's got to be annoying for them because obviously they've just, they were just about to launch the Nintendo World expansion at USJ, as in Universal oh, yeah. Studios Japan. And they had to push that back because of coronavirus. So no, everything's yeah. got pushed back for that. Um, so Lego, Lego Mario looks like it's going to be a young kid thing. Um, there'll probably be some oldies by it, just out of curiosity. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it, it's not Lego. It's not, Mar it's not a game. It's Mario. It's not anything. <laughs> it's really weird. It's a bit like when you first see Labo and you go, what, what's Nintendo's business doing cardboard cutout stuff? Um, but they try things. They've got so much money. They might as well. At least somebody's inventive. Yes. Because while we have, I talked earlier about Microsoft doing their specs and uh, I was going to get to Sony soon. Um, as usual, Microsoft and Sony are playing spec wars. Yeah. And they'll, they'll try and differentiate by their by their exclusives. They have an awesome rumor coming up about that. Um, Nintendo is just going, we'll just play our own game. And I, I respect that. I like it. Nintendo, after an Animal Crossing comes out, Nintendo do not have a date on any of their big titles. There is no AAA Nintendo title that has a date. They don't, they don't have to because from 3 o'clock on Friday afternoon... The whole world is going to be playing Animal Crossing. Yes. They're going to be locked away. They're going to self isolate, whether yeah. it's coronavirus yeah. or not. Yeah, Everyone is going to each other's <laughs> islands. Like, hey, you yeah. I'm on your island. Yeah, right? So yeah. basically, the Nintendo is about to self isolate. They should have held off on all the government announcements because Nintendo is going to do the hard work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going over some <laughs> Just wait. Um, so, yeah, as of three, they don't have to release anything for six months. Yep. Yeah. Uh, they'll, they'll just Christmas, get back in the Christmas rush. By then, we might be going We're all in outside. Christmas rush at the moment. My yeah. work's put on hours. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Might so. be wandering outside, you know, close yeah. to Christmas, seeing sunlight for the first time. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. All right, uh, next one. What have we got? Uh, oh, okay. Now, uh, no, I'll, say, I'll park this one. Um, I'll go to the PS5. I said, right, maybe even now, but definitely by the time I get this onto YouTube and, and uh, Spotify and that, um, there, there will have been a PS5 architecture deep dive, an online sort of, uh, what do we call it, online conferencing, whatever announcement, which is going to go through the, basically the PS5 technical abilities. Now, this is 100% because Xbox released their specs. This is 100% because Microsoft have been proactive this gen. Last gen, when House and all the big boys were in charge, Leighton and all that, they actually got shit done. They they, they sold their message. They sold it all off. Microsoft flubbed so hard. This time, Microsoft, they got I Phil Spencer. On metric. I don't. Um, Let's talk about him after this. Mm, yeah. <laughs> uh, Phil Spencer's like there for the long haul. He's hired a good team under him. They're, they're shitting themselves. Like they have to be shitting themselves. 
Because Sony. Yeah, the only thing that's going to keep them in the game is the fact that they have the like the the, the carryover momentum, and I think they'll find that'll run out very quickly. Uh, or something else, but I'll get to that in a moment. Yeah, right. uh, coming up, but uh, um, yeah, okay, cool. I'll leave the other announcement for you. Let's go. There's a rumor. Right, go uh, on. I got a rumor for you. Yeah. Uh, Sony is uh, trying to buy Castlevania, Metal Gear Solid, and Silent Hill IPs from Konami, and Kojima is involved. So I wouldn't be surprised at all because they've go. just announced they're, they're, re they're redoing Silent Hills now. If they did Silent Hills with anyone but Kojima, you could fucking forget it. No one would play it. No one would fucking touch it, right? Yep. If you... Konami will part with them, but they'll want $400 million. Minimum. Minimum for those IPs alone, they'll want. Like, okay, and they'll so get if, it. If you were about to launch a console and you were yeah. shitting yourself, and and basically now it comes down to if you're going to have, you know, who's got a bit of hardware, blah, 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 blah. Then if you are and you're going to lose some, that fight well and truly. If you are after some IPs which are solid in the Sony fan base, yeah, yeah, and with which have a Sony history, yeah. and if you wanted to lock them away, that would be a good move. That would, yeah, uh, like that would be the only thing I could see. Like I could see it happening. Uh, who was like if they said who the source was? Like who who leaked it first? Oh, oh wow, one of those. Okay, oh, no, okay. The source starts with a number. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> So, but now, uh, look, uh, I'm just saying it's a rumor, but it's one of those rumors that you go, eh, I could see if Sony, see, Sony can't afford to go into this console gen. The way it is at the moment. And yeah, without backward compatibility, which they probably won't have. Let's be honest, I don't think they're going to have PS3 is, is so impossible to do. Like it would require much better engineers than they have, and they just don't have the chops for it. So it's better to just ignore it. And the best way they could do it, if they bought Metal Gear Solid, they could remake 4. And yeah. that would be what I would suggest they would have done. They yeah. would do full... I reckon if they were going to do it, because I've got 2 and 3 have the remakes that are reasonably good quality. You get 1, you get Twin Snakes ported over, you get... Or you make a new version of it. You get 4, make a new version of it. You make... You redo 5 as, like, collect, like director's edition. Give Kojima a, a billion dollars to do that, and you'll get 3 billion back. It's as simple as that. Like it's as simple as that. I don't think well, I, that's a bad investment. I think it's. I think it's the only thing they can do, and I yes. think it'll, it'll, if the rumor is true, it'll work. And um, can, so we, you, you, you deign not to say the number, but let's be real. Four chan leaks are about as good as fucking <laughs> anything else on the planet. I have no, figured, no, no, no. as much as I hate four chan for leaks on video games. Just if you do the sniff test on any leak, you'll pick up the bad ones. But all the ones that I've looked at, even which have come out, and I've gone, this sounds legit. Yep. It turned out it was a 4chan link. Look, let's, uh, look, I, I get bagged by some of my friends. Big hello to Joel for uh, for reading 4chan at any point. 4chan is mostly full of LARPers. Let's be honest, it's full of LARPers everywhere. A lot of people LARPing as uh, FBI LARPing agents. As FBI, and, agents yeah. FBI agents LARPing as, as, as Rangers. Yeah. That's, that's always an ons. That's that's my always been my thing. I, I sometimes, if it's good entertainment, there's some fantastic fan fiction there. If you yeah. want fan fiction, kill it on and BD yeah. and on. BD and on's a new one. Yeah, right. Uh, Big Dick and on. He's, uh, he's, of course he's, it is. All the Q and on people they're missing out bd and on's the, yeah, he's good right. he's talking about special directed energy weapons in, nice. in iran and stuff yeah, and, right. and he's no, I, like he's, my, my only oh, one that i was right like, make a movie out they, of just, they just they just released so coronavirus <laughs> in iran that's what they did oh so. no he talks about that a lot yeah. he, he's big into that so um but it's one of those ones where the larpers have a little bit of stuff they accidentally get right yes. sometimes they get some credibility i love reading and be, but but mind you aside from help big hello to joel this is serious I don't believe them, yeah. <laughs> so, but they are entertaining. Um, but what what I would say is that yes, they there are the, there is the occasional thing that pops up there yeah. that does seem real, and there have been things that do. It is the only place you can put something and be anonymous. Yes. So yeah. So you, where, you where, 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 where that, that culture of anonymity and I guess lack of accountability works in the favor of a gamer. Do you know what I mean? Like because you don't get much out of trolling people when you can't take the credit for it. If you troll people and say, "Oh, here's this leak I've got." And you've got something that people can track to. There's more to it than that. Whereas if you're anonymous, it's like maybe a leak a Nintendo one, they can track it back to you in deep shit. Yeah, yeah <laughs> ask, just, just ask every. Well, Apple's always been like that. Apple, yeah. Apple will go you if you leak anything yeah, about yeah. iPhone. Um, but yeah, yeah. So I, I think if that is true, it's the smartest move they've made in a long, long fucking time. Even if it cost them five hundred million, I think it's worth it. I think for what they could do with those franchises, if you gave Konami back to someone who believed in it, now Kojima still needs someone to say to him. All right, that's enough, Hideo. Like, that's it. That's well, he's like George Lucas. He's Correct. brilliant, 
but he needs he somebody needs else. Yeah. He can't be fully in control. Yes. He needs somebody to say, no, that's dumb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or can you wind that back a bit? Like, yeah, yeah. Just, he, here's where that sentence needed to end and you've let it go for too long. Like, and that was always the, the, the thrill of like, you know, even two and three is like, it was verbose and even four, it was verbose and it was overwrought and all that. But there was just enough restraint there. And I say that in the game with the 45 minute cuts. There was enough restraint there that, it still was cohesive and you still... It's in the Guinness Book of Re- World Records. <laughs> Something like that. That's um, amazing. <laughs> whereas five was like literally too big. to Like he needed another 18 months. Kanavi mm-hmm. said, we want the money now. He said, well, it's not going to happen. So they said, cool, you're fired. We're just going to get you to repeat the last five missions. Well, t- something to get Sony fanboys excited. Yeah. Just imagine... They turn up to announce the PS5, Kojima's there, yeah. and they say Silent Hill, the next Silent Hill, the next Metal Gear, and the next Castlevania, plus pre- possibly the previous ones. Yeah. They're all going to be PS5 exclusives. Yeah. Sony's not as dead as what well. I, I, I but, but this goes back to my original argument. So many of the dude bros switched over to PlayStation, right, for whatever reason, right? They switched over to PlayStation, and they're like, cool, we're, we're, like, we play PlayStation now. If you're a weeb, it was always justifiable to buy a PS4. It was always justifiable mm. to buy a PlayStation if you're a weeb. And I've said that since day dot. As much as I don't never like the PS4 or the control or anything like that, if you're a weeb, you have to buy it. Do you know what I mean? Like, because Microsoft just does not service that market. Nintendo service the hentai crowd now. So, you know what I mean? Like, if you have a Switch, that's your valuable, like, offshoot. But that, to me, would be... Like, again, it's a, it's a Chan rumor, whatever. But I think, genuinely, if that's true... That's about the smartest move they've made in about a year. If I was Sony and I read that, I'd go, uh, I might just get on the phone to Kojima. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> <That's> if, <'cause laughs> I think Konami wants out. I think Konami wants fully out, as far out as they can get. They don't want to make games anymore. They make too much money from health clubs. They make too much money from all the other shit that they do. They don't want to be in it anymore. Yeah. If they sold their swath of IP to anyone else who could do something with it, like, if I was Capcom, I'd be throwing my hand at some of those rings. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. Capcom do very good games with other people's IPs. The, the Capcom Zelda games are some of the best. You know what I mean? Like, they do a great job with well, other people. Really Marvel vs. Capcom games. is still a great crossover series. Okay, yeah. Even if they fucked up the last one because of Marvel. But I wouldn't want to trust Disney again after that. So, moral story is, yeah, I agree. I think it would be one of the smarter moves they can make. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've got another rumor. It's not quite as good. Yeah. Uh, it's probably predictable. CD Projekt Red will apparently be developing another single-player game. Uh, for Cyberpunk 27.7, and it's probably going to be another Witcher. Yes, but it's it's not going to be a Geralt Witcher necessarily. <clears throat> that was the the point that kind of like caged around a little bit. Okay. Like, that it's not going to necessarily be a Geralt game. It's going to be in the Witcher universe, and I think that would be good. I think if you could make a game in the Witcher universe that wasn't necessarily Geralt, you could do it. You just like make it a Siri game. You know what I mean? Like, well, you know, I'm going to mention. No, I won't mention. Let's let's the game that shall not be named <laughs> because we're going to have a ban of uh... podcast. But th- this is the, the conversation about Last of Us. Games, yeah. games can get obsessed with the characters, yes. can't they? So if, if you say it's all, it's about the character, and and, and you've said this, and I've I've said yeah. this about the t- TV adaptation of yeah. the game that shall not be named, is um yes, there's there's universes there, but they but people get obsessed, and developers and publishers get obsessed with the character. Yeah. Yet they make these amazing worlds that have so much. Shout, shout outs to Goku, like yeah, that's one hundred percent the Dragon Ball. Oh, oh, that's the Dragon Ball, Ball issue, yeah. They were so obsessed with keeping Goku as, like, the main. And they basically spend most of Dragon Ball Z setting up Gohan as his, like, successor. His son's going to take over. His son has, you know, the best of Saiyan blood mixed with learning this. And then in the end of it, it's all just Goku. It's limited thinking because yeah. if you've got this giant big world of fan... Because sometimes they do. They're just games. And sometimes movies can hit on fantastic, like, concepts. Just yeah. just places. That, and, and, yes, there's so much to explore. You know what? I, I, I was ranting a few podcasts ago about The Expanse and how much I love it. Yeah. They got obsessed with uh, Holden, the main character, yeah. as if he's godlike. And you go, no, there's so much here. Yeah. We can, we can, we can leave. What? Why do we stick with the character? Yeah, is I, it just a lack of no? It's 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 a, it's scared. It's it, they're scared. And I think a lot of the times it's nearly always fan reactions. If you find that there's a franchise that gets hooked on a character as like a thing, it's a fan reaction. They're worried about upsetting the people who watch it. Like Mass Effect, like all like all those games that get hooked on a character. Yeah, it's it's usually because they're worried that fans won't appreciate. It. Like. Kratos, I think the one thing that God of War did really well was it introduced the world around Kratos. And it, like, yes, Kratos was going through all these things, but he had all these characters like you were dealing with. Now that they've brought him back at the end, it had to be him. And I think from God of War reboot two or reboot three, yeah. you can make it a trade. You can make what's the kid's name? Not a trade. That's the fucking horse in um, Never Ending Story. 
Whatever. No, Whatever the kid's name is, right? Because the trade is from Never Ending Story. Oh, kid. Yeah. Yeah. Boy. Son. Boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, you could make it, yeah. his game from that point onwards because he's got that. You know, he could easily, like, basically, you just have to give him the chains of torment and he carries his father's sins. Done. There's your story angle. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. they could do that easily. So if they, if you get to the second or third one and Kratos isn't dead, they fucked it up. They fucked up real bad. You know one where they did well? I know it's not games, but Mandalorian. Yeah. It was incredibly popular, but it was not actually about Bob the Fett. Yeah. Not actually about Yoda. Two characters. Yeah, yeah. Like, but everyone just flocked to it. Yeah, like, yeah. everyone just went, oh, I mean, but it's well, a good especially size. their ladies well, with like, baby Yoda. Yeah. <laughs> Chicky nuggies. <laughs> oh, Chocky <fuck> milky. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he comes through, you just hear over his pop, like in your vicinity. He hasn't eaten a single chicken nugget in the entire series. <laughs> he eats a frog, anyway. Um, but like, exactly that. I think that, to me, is a, a perfect example of a spin-off, quote-unquote, just being a good EU Well, story. it's going to become the main. Yeah, I, mean, I agree. I agree. <laughs> I I would watch a Mandalorian movie over a fucking... I wouldn't even watch a movie, actually. Like to, I mean, to, it's, it's like short it's, form TV is the new movie. Fuck movies. Yeah, streaming. Streaming a ten, yeah. Streaming's basically a 10-hour movie, yeah. right? And they can tell it at a pace. Yes. Like at a, and a Mandalorian's a very slow pace. Yeah. It's almost it's fly, a slow, fly sort yeah, of yeah. pace. It's very slow. Well, it's like, very fly fly. Yeah, except, like for the, it's, except for the uh, movie. Yeah. yeah, and the series was slow pace. Um, Mandalorian slow pace, but you, you can do it. Yeah, ten hour movie. Yeah, Umbrella Umbrella Academy was a ten hour movie. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, and I and I think TV used to kind of be looked down on. You went you went to, from movies to TV, and that was the kind of the degradation. But I think more than anything else, it's become the better storytelling. Movie. No one's pushing for twenty two eps anymore. Everyone's finding that sweet spot of twelve eps, five seasons. You can do it. You, you can do it in a day. Yep. You can just go nuts. Yep. Uh, Witcher was a similar thing. Witcher was like a long movie. Yep. Yeah, really, really long movie. Uh, but then, if you try and do things like a Game of Thrones, it'll over several years. It loses its way. Yeah. Um, before I, don't, I, don't, I, think, but I think that's one thing the BBC, because they make a lot of series for Netflix, has taught Netflix that um, miniseries work. Miniseries can be better than a movie. They can be better than a full series. But then again, BBC BBC TV series are usually six episodes, and I would argue sometimes they're just a little too short. Oh, one, sometimes there's, there's, there's sometimes one more episode would have been just enough to flesh out an idea. You the know best I mean? comedy ever made, Faulty Towers. Yeah. Well, I don't well know look, it's, it's great. It's, Mind only, you, it's only 13 episodes of two seasons. I know you can't hit immigrants over the head anymore, yeah, right? Yeah. But other than that, Faulty Towers is hilarious. Yeah, but but Faulty Towers, that was only 11 episodes. That's some boomer shit, though. Like, <laughs> straight up boomer. Is it 11 or 13? Well, something like that. It was hardly yeah, any, six right? Six and six. Well, yeah, like six and seven, yeah. So, yeah, BBC's always done... Uh, yeah. I don't know if anyway, we, well, no, Blackadder's the same. Blackadder's got four, five... No, four seasons in a movie. He eats Baldrick a lot. <laughs> yeah. But doesn't matter. <laughs> Is Baldrick. all UK stuff about assault? <laughs> <laughs> Just ask Jimmy Savile. Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> are we picking on the BBC or not? Let's go in. Let's just, <laughs> let's, just, let's make sure we never get a, a thing from them ever again. <laughs> yeah, they, they get it. Yeah, next. <laughs> uh, I don't mean to say. Yeah, no, I don't know. Did I, yeah. Uh, okay, let's go on to the next game. Sure. <laughs> so, uh, uh, let's see. What do we got? Oh, okay, well, yours. Uh, coming out for PC and Switch. Uh, uh, ex yeah, Exit the Gungeon. Um, so, it's the. it was on Apple Arcade. As an exclusive when they launched Apple Arcade, and Apple Arcade is garbage, don't bother. Um, Sayonara Hearts and Exit the Gungeon were probably the two of the better games from the launch of the thing. Uh, Exit the Gungeon is basically, the end of the Gungeon is that you kill the past. So the idea of the gun that was Enter the Gungeon was you have to find the gun that kills the past, and you shoot your past, you kill your past, you go back, you fix the problem, and therefore you think. Oh, then for this, it's too hard. But it's very hard. <laughs> so once you're done... Especially on the Switch, when you go play, like, with stupid thumb no, down one side. No it's comment. It's crampy, no freaking... No comment. Nintendo, make a yeah. Joy-Con with the right thumbstick at the top. Even please! Call, call it a Pro Joy-Con. Call it, oh, a Pro Joy-Con, or, like, FPS Joy-Con, or some shit like I that. I'm not taking them off to play Mario yeah. Kart with my yeah. friends. I want... I want that right thumb stick at the top. Yeah. It is stopping me playing so many games. Even yeah. Spyro is a pain. It cramps after the while when you're trying to have your yeah. thumb down low. And it just, it's not right. Nintendo, yeah, it's, right not right. Joy it's not right. right. Yeah. yeah, it's not It's not right. Nintendo, make an alt-right yeah. joy oh. with a thumb <laughs> stick at the top. Um, anyway, <laughs> the, 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 the views expressed by Gerard McDermott. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I, like, and so basically this is, because the, the the purpose of the gungeon has been finalized, the the gungeon collapses and you have to escape it. So it's like basically a similar concept, except it's like a rising elevator, rising set of ladders, rising <coughs> all that kind of stuff. Great fun. I love the first one. I'll play the second one a bunch as well. Are you addicted to that? 
I have it on every platform that it's, it's available on, except for... Is it on iPhone now? No, it's not. I think but, I've got it on PC, Switch, and... But that was only because it was like five bucks. I got it on Switch, <laughs> Bona, <laughs> PS4, yeah. uh, PC, and I played on all of them. Like, I've played about 100 hours on... Not 100 hours, probably about 50 hours on each one, and about 100 hours on Switch. I play I play with the boy every so often he wants to go in. It's just fun knocking around, but I'm not allowed to take his weapons and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's yeah. how it works these days. I am the assist. You're the sidekick. You're the, yeah. you're the, you're the cultist. Yeah, I'm yeah. the healer to say, in games, oof, and uh, oof. I'm not the main anymore. So, oof, uh, oof. yeah, it was only a few Hope years thoughts. ago I was the main in our house. And, yeah, right. and the kids, uh, there was, well, there was was a time I'd give them the unplugged controller sort of thing, but uh, nowadays I'm yeah. the one that the boy has well, the controller with to, no to, batteries. To be to be fair... <laughs> When um when when I'm playing uh, Plants vs Zombies with you, uh, when your son picks the All Star, I do kind of fall in line and jump on healer. Normally I don't, but I'm like he's he's pretty good with the old uh, All Star. He is very good at that game. Yeah. Well, he's got the wizard now. Yeah, wizard's so yeah. fucking broken. Jesus Christ, it's such. That's what a, he says. He can't yeah. has it broken down. It's not actually broken. They mean it like anyway. But yeah, no, no, it, but it's deliberately broken. It's the same thing. There you go, Legend, there you go, Campbell. Jason's just saying the same thing. Yeah, it, like because <laughs> well, I was playing a bunch of it the other night with Proc, and um, because yeah, he goes into people and he does like the the, the ten. Yeah, you thing. messaged me at ten past twelve in the morning. Yeah, you feel like a game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, it was up. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. I was working. Um, we sent you an invite as well. <laughs> you, you and the kids account. Yeah, yeah. No, the boy was in bed there because <laughs> you would have played if you yeah, anyway, yeah. but yeah um pvc play that it's a very good game um yeah battle for Naperville is cool yeah uh, uh yeah so play into the gunship too very good game cool all right um uh, okay now i, I think your only one is that isn't it well i want to do a longer i want to do a longer talk of that because <clears throat> look uh let's be serious about yeah. about it the, the coronavirus is uh it's not normal uh, no. <laughs> right now uh we haven't seen anything like this ever and it actually is i wouldn't say we haven't seen we personally haven't seen anything like this ever but spanish flu was a similar thing well yeah i wasn't quite you alive were, in 90 it was only like a couple of years before was it yeah like, i just missed years? out i was yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, and there was no internet so yeah, we didn't yeah. have any any videos yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't uh, put up twitter nothing on live leak about it but that was, <laughs> <laughs> but now uh, the um <laughs> What I was going to say is, as much as for gamers, this is, I mean, well, actually, I'm a nerd, right? I'm a programmer. I'm a yeah. nerd. Uh, to me, uh, this is normal, like yeah. staying away from people and staying inside just on my computer. So I haven't finally got an excuse. But the coronavirus right now, the Devolver, Microsoft, Ubisoft, uh, and probably some others are now going to basically do Nintendo Directs um, for E3. They're going to have conferen yeah. conferences. Well, Devolver already did that. They had the, the the live thing with Nina, which was still the best thing about E3 for the last three years. Two years, sorry. <clears throat> yeah. So. Well, we'll see. Because none of them are going. So I thought just quickly, I thought <clears throat> let's let's actually have a, a quick one of uh, just quickly what the ramifications are and what should people get onto since... We've got to self-isolate, got to stay inside. Um, games is a really good thing to do. If what, you're going to do a rush on recommend? Any, if you're going to do a rush on anything, Nintendo <coughs> Switches are about to hit short supply. My Xboxes and PS4s will be fine. There's still enough in them, and the, the sales of those have dropped off a cliff. They're not going to sell out anytime soon. So Xbox and PS4, you're not going to have any trouble no, getting you can, you can Xbox. Don't sue us if we I mean, the Microsoft were doing, when the coronavirus hit about a week ago, they were doing Xbox One X's for $350. Oh, that came with a controller too, didn't it? Oh, my God. Oh, like, I, I bought one for 450 no controller in the uh, Black Friday yeah. thing or whatever. I thought that was a bargain. 350 is pretty yeah. fucking good. Anyway, so like, so th that'll be fine. It's the Switch. Japan's had shortages for the last month or two. Um, because they're usually the ones that get them first out of the factories in China. NA, EU, Australia are the ones that are starting to feel it now. So we'll start to see shortages coming through, I'd say, in the next month or so. So if you see a cheap second hand, you pick it up. If you see a cheap, see a cheap or a good deal, I know JB are doing 280 or something on them or something like that. Are we on a Switch at the moment? Yeah, on a Switch Lite. But I still uh, look get, yeah. get a switch, get a switch, and get Animal Crossing. Like Animal Crossing comes yeah. out three o'clock on Friday. Yeah, and um, the, 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 so is that so basically goes that Doom is the same day. Um, April third is Resident Evil three. April tenth is Final Fantasy. Like there's a there's a bunch of good games coming out. And if you got an Xbox, get Game Pass now. Uh, can you still get it for a dollar? So okay, so what you do is you go down to your local wherever, buy two cards of Xbox Live uh, Gold for twelve months, so you get two of them. So you can get three if you want, doesn't matter. So you, you get three of them, two of them, however many you can afford, get that. And then after you pay that $150 or whatever, for one dollar more, you can convert that time into Game Pass. So you put you put the codes in for the Xbox Live Gold, put it into your account, 
Then after that, you activate the gold trial, which will convert any time you have an Xbox Live Gold for one dollar. And yeah, I've got twenty six months of gold. Uh, twenty six months of Game Pass that way. Game Pass Ultimate, by the way. Do it that way because I did it the normal way and I only got three months. Yeah. Dollar. But anyway, it's still three months is good. Um, it's only fifteen bucks. Game Pass will give you a lot of games to yes, play, and yeah. they're good games too. There's some really good stuff in there. And cool. like a lot, a lot which of is these, one of them, isn't it? Which is one of them. It's Mutant, of Mutant Year Zero was fucking great. I love Mutant Year Zero. Um, there's a bunch of great games that I've played. Remnant from the Ashes. Oh my god! Like, it, it had I known that game existed last year, it would have nearly factored into my top ten. I the fucking series? loved it. I loved it. And so, but oh. it's it's it just such a. It came out a perfect world. So you know, you no one talks about perfect world anymore. It's all ten cent. So like, it was like the Chinese publisher made the game with like a local developer. They sold it to Game Pass. I think it was on Unreal as well, like Epic Store. Um, and no one played it, and it was always one of those games I'd heard but like a little bit about here and there. And I'm like, hey, whatever. And I played it. I'm like, this is loot shoot Dark Souls, and so it does it does all these obvious things, and yet it maintains my, my interest. I, I it just oh, I yeah. turn it on when I'm bored. I want to play an hour or two of just a game. I shoot shit. You know what, what was I mean? A remnant from the ashes. Remnant from the ashes. Cool. Yeah. 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 So is that's on Game Pass. Game, on yeah. Game Pass. Right? See, so Assault. Is... See, Assault is a like a tactical rps so you control your cthulian your cthulian god and someone's promised you their their souls for um your sacrifice and then they back out of it it's like a priest and he's like i'll give you so you pick up five names and they give you the four and the priest goes but why me i've been good it's like no you're who we want like you're the sacrifice i need to fight you so you have to make small armies of like different cthulian horrors and you like kill people with like waves and stuff like that so it's like pretty good is it a shooting game no it's like a top-down strategy game with like lots oh, cool. of little things so lots of little minions and shit like XCOM style no 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 the opposite so like Op- opposite. So like you just have like a swarm and you run the swarm over all these people and like kill them and like different sw- like different uh, enemies will have different ways to counteract like some will have shotguns and some will have like fire or whatever the case may be and so yeah so sometimes you have to send like really hardy units ones that aren't going to die straight away <coughs> into the thing yep. so it's like it's about picking the right units it's a great game so much good shit on Game Pass, and then there's so much good shit that I haven't played on my Switch yet. Like I'm playing Rune Factory. Yep. Um, Rune Factory is another good time killer. It's kind of a mix of Monster Rancher and Harvest Moon slash Animal Crossing. So it's another one like that. Yep. Um, it's a good time to release it. The two weeks between Animal Crossing and Rune Factory was a very good time to release Rune Factory because like it scratches a lot of those itches. Uh, and then I've just also been playing One Punch Man which is like Xenoverse, but for One Punch Man universe, and My Hero Academia 2, which is the same thing for My Hero Academia. So, like, oh, if you're a oh, weeb, it's like the fucking time for it. Yeah, so then maybe... Yeah, yeah uh, Bonnie's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, she's pretty happy with it. She liked the No Hero. I don't know if I'd seen it in a movie cinema now, uh, but uh, there you go. <laughs> Very gutsy. Um, now, Huss has said, other than the fact that he's been isolating himself for years, same here, same. It's, uh, yeah, he's uh, true. But, uh, he's going black, yeah. Black he's on um, Game Pass in Australia. Yep, cool. So, I only want to play it. Um, all right, now I don't have your recommendations for PS4. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I've, been playing, I've been playing Monster Hunter, <laughs> get, so yeah. Get Game Pass. Monster Hunter <laughs> and Judgment are still two of the best games, so yeah. And now if, you, if you've got streaming stuff on uh, Amazon Prime, I recommend The Expanse. There's four seasons yeah. of that, which will keep you busy for a while. Uh, Picard looks good so far. I've still got a few episodes to go. Yeah. Slow paced again. Slow paced series. If you're, uh, if you're on Netflix... Uh, uh, what, what have we Final watched? Space, Umbrella Academy. Final Space, I will not do. Watch Final Space and tell Jason how good it is. Uh, what else? Uh, Umbrella Academy is good. I've been watching um, uh, the end of so the uh, end of the fucking world is one of the best shows they've made. Um, and they've just there's a new. Oh, that's got the kid on it from the uh, from Black Mirror. He had to fight the other guy yes, to death. Yes, the... Yeah, cool. Yeah, uh, and he he's great in that. He's great in thing. And then they've got the new one. What is it? Um, no, I'm not enjoying this or whatever the hell it's called. Like, no, I'm not okay with this. And that's that's a good show too. Um, Netflix has some good stuff at the moment. I've been it's catching up. Really good. I've basically been going back through my list of stuff that I've put on there. Yep. Um, and I've just been like trying to narrow, bring that down before I start watching any new shows. So I've watched like six <coughs> different shows in the last little bit. Um, yeah. So. Get Anime Lab. Uh, main, main Anna, yeah, I'll say the net. I was literally just about to say Anime Lab at the yeah. moment is pumping. Um, uh, but yeah. also it annoys Sterling Griff and Collective Karen. So do yep. it. Anime Lab could probably use the money for what's what Sterling Griffin and Collective yeah. Karen are going to go, yeah, go yeah. Up soon. So, uh, well, so yeah, luckily, yeah. Luckily, luckily, Funimation is now backing <laughs> Anime Lab, so there'll be a little bit of you know, battle chest. Yeah, yeah, a little cool. bit of battle chest. So yeah, 
But uh, yeah, collective uh, McGriff the crime dog, collective Canada coming for him. Yeah, no, I haven't heard from him last week, but they, they won't go away. They're yeah. they're, they're, uh, they're butt hurt, and butt hurt, as I always say, is the most powerful force in, in the, the universe. Hundred percent. Uh, the universe is powered by butt hurt. Um, all right, cool. Um, now, uh, now that's so uh, that's things to do. Yes. Uh, so there's a lot to do if you're a gamer. This is happy time, so you don't. You don't. You, your parents can say, "What are you doing playing games all day?" Well, I'm self isolating, self, yeah, yeah. and I don't want anyone to die. And your parents will have to back off. So just remember that, kids. Yeah, yeah. Play games. Now is now is your time. You've been preparing for this. Well, I, we used to say we're preparing for uh, the zombie apocalypse, and it wasn't a zombie apocalypse. It was yeah. a stupid virus. It was kind of boring. Would be more funny for zombies, wouldn't it? I mean, it'd be some. Like, imagine, yeah. imagine if the coronavirus made zombies, and it was like, oh man. Yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, it's still a similar pattern. People are going to work. They've been bitten by the virus and they they won't admit it. And then it's too late and they're already infecting other people. So it's quite literally it zombie apocalypse. Oh, everyone had the virus is jumping on planes and yeah. traveling the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap! Anyway, okay. Now some ramifications of it. Now, bam uh, is postponed. Yes. Um, now no date confirmed yet. So yeah. No, yeah, everything's being postponed. We got another thing postponed today that was it was uh, gaming related as well. But I'll tell you about that. I'll yeah. be, um, postponed until the end of the year. It looks like everybody's postponing until around September. Yeah. Because they're, they're expecting it to be at to least be under control oldest. in the northern hemisphere is basically problem, saying yeah. every single person in the world is going to have this virus sometime in the next six to 12 months yeah. and most in the next six months um now the, the ramifications for that e3 is oh, do you reckon e3 will come back i don't think so i, I think know, it's dead I, now. I, I think it will what they'll do is they'll host a conference in the same way like a twitch con kind of thing maybe that's what they'll do is i'll partner directly with twitch and do like a Twitch con that is just announcements and stuff like that, and then they have their influences and their people come through. I could see Amazon buying ESA. Like, I, hmm. like now, the more I think about it, the more I see that being an actual thing. I think I find the conferences thin out after this, uh, yeah. which is probably a good thing because there are a lot, especially especially in the US, there are a lot of cons. Yeah, there are a lot. They don't all have ball pits, say, but there yeah, are a lot yeah. of cons Agreed. there that they probably need to thin out a little bit. Uh, we don't get as many in Australia. We only get like the uh, the the Those comic cons and packs. So we got oh, Supernova, and stuff. Supernova, Cospendium, um, which is still going ahead as far as I can tell in June. So yeah, well, they have four different packs or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so anyway, um, the other one is if you're an AFL fan, uh, or I have a rumor, but I probably can't say mm. uh, next week. Let's see. Uh, but anyway, the um, uh, AFL Evolution Two comes out in April. So not long to wait, and you might be playing that before there's more footy. So you, yeah. know, you might, uh, you, you might. Anyway, they, uh, I don't know what I can say. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. So, well, I mean, like they're, they're, they're trying but, to push uh, the felt, seventeen week season, so yeah. Uh, <clears throat> it may maybe way less. <laughs> so, I, I, so, I'm, I'm, AFL Evolution I'm surprised they haven't done that the conference style yet, where it's eight v eight. Do you know what I mean? Like they play off in that, and then they play off later. I think that would have always been a better way to do it, but. I wouldn't be surprised if they do something similar for this season. Uh, be, it would be a good chance to try something different. It would be a good chance for them to say, hey, maybe if there's a draw in the grand final, we don't have to play it again. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've always hated that. Because that happened with Richmond, well, not Richmond, Collingwood, St. Kilda, where they got a draw, wasn't it? I have half decent context in that area. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing that there'll be a round, uh, sometime after round one, there'll be a six-week break. Wow. Yeah. So there you go. That's a real, that's probably bad for me to say. Yeah. <laughs> but there you go. Um, so that's the considering. So, so, that. so go to Footy Rocks now and sign up. <laughs> yeah, sign up for my <laughs> actually dreamteam.gmail.com. Yeah. <laughs> you sign up, pick this week, and then have a break. Uh, but you may be you may be looking for AFL Evolution Two. It's probably <laughs> probably going to be probably the last game. Uh, no offense to them. But last one just, was alright, but they like... just don't put the money. And you know what? You know what? The AFL. Yeah. Uh, the AFL, this should be a, a thing for them. If they had to put EA money in, and they have it, they have billions of dollars. Billions of dollars right? in cash and not even like yeah, they're, they're market like, cap, like actual cash. That Nintendo money, right? Yeah. So so they, oh, not quite, but you know what I mean. Um, if they had to put EA money into yeah. development into an AFL game. 50 right? mil would have done it. You oh, know what I mean? they like, could have had some fantastic. Yeah. I know they starved the current developer to a degree, but I just... Uh, they they could have put in something. They could have had a really good game. Yeah. It would have really slotted in in a really good place uh, right now. But uh, there you go, hindsight. Uh, hindsight. Uh, Patrick Cripps is on the cover of this one. Oh, right. Okay. I think it was Pendlebury last year. It so, was Pendlebury, yeah. yeah Cripps yeah. this year. Cripps a good player. Uh, 
look good in a Hawthorne jumper, Patrick. Uh, go down and talk to Clarko. Uh, well, for how long is there? And you have a chance to win a flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every player in the AFL should play for Hawthorne at least once in their career so they can win a flag. <laughs> I, I think uh, so. Uh, so well, anyway, so that's coming in April. There's so uh, people who are missing out on the footy might uh, might want to have a look at AFL Evolution too, or the old PlayStation version, which was yeah, really the 98, 98, yeah, yeah. 98. But all you do is pick uh, Richmond. And you let, is it Tivendale? No, it's not. It's not many We did that on the stream, actually, before the grand final. Yeah. yeah, and one of them, one of the Richmond players could kick a goal consistently from 70 metres. It wasn't Tivendale. It was like... <laughs> Richo? No. <laughs> that, was, that was in the year where he didn't know how to play football. He only learned how to play actually, football in the last... One of those years he played on the wing and he kicked 90-some goals. Well, 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 that's what I'm saying. He, he, when, when, he, when, he, when, he plays, when he plays wing or he plays wing, it can't just be lazy. He actually has to go earn it himself. He would have done the Hawks. Yeah. If you have played at the Hawks, Richo, you would have flag. <laughs> We'd have five flags. So, anyway, uh, where have we going? I've had fun talking footy there. Uh, what have we got? That's it. That's I'm it. ready. I'm ready yeah. stuff. Yeah, every, every, basically everything's on hold. Play games, stay inside, do self isolate. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, everybody's going to have this coronavirus uh, at some point in the next Let's just flatten months. the curve as much as possible. Um, it's un, it's basically unstoppable. We never seen we haven't seen anything like this in our lifetimes, in my lifetime, which is longer than yeah. most people's. Um, so yeah, stay stay inside, play games. You finally got an excuse. Your parents can't tell you not to now. You're doing the right thing. So, yeah, doing uh, the so, right thing. It's yeah, well, they just they can go off and watch Netflix. There's some good stuff on Netflix for yeah. mum and dad. Correct. Uh, so uh, yeah. Anyway, um, and Jack. Oh dear, I won't repeat that. So <laughs> I think he's referring to something else. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's. Uh, I, I think he's still referring to Bob. That's fine. Thanks for thanks for listening or watching. We'll see you next week if we're all still alive. It'd be nice, I guess. Ish. I forgot to mention the website, but anyway. Sorry. There you go. Finish. You get plus TV. Bye.